Greetings everyone, Stefan is here. Welcome back for another video. So in today's video, we have the Psych Plus G1 GPS bike computer. This is for motorbiking and also this item actually it's very good to, to measure your speed of your RC car, which this is what I'm gonna do. So let's check some of the specifications. So the screen size is 2.2 inch LCD. So it's the product size is 55 by 59, 22 millimeters. So the product weight is around 56 grams. So the using time is around 25 hours, but I think it's probably about 20 hours. The battery inside is 3.7 uh, volts, which is 900 milliamp power. Charging time, it's not type C, actually, it's a micro USB, but for some reason they sent this with this box, which is pretty, pretty strange. <laughs> Charging time, about two hours. So this thing is IPX6, so it's rain, it's not waterproof, but it's rain, so basically like a splash splash proof so if, if it's rain like a normal rain i think it's gonna be okay but yeah pretty much this is uh, some of the specs so let's unbox this interesting computer here and we're gonna check what it's all about inside i'm gonna leave this on the side let me check some of the user manual settings here so as you can see, we have the bike computer, we have the bike computer mount, so you can attach this to your um, to your um, bike, which is pretty good. A rubber pad uh, also comes with a, a a rubber bands, so four uh, two sizes, so small small and large. And as you can see here, it says micro USB, which for some reason. <laughs> here in the box it says type c but yeah this is yeah this is not right so some of the specifications let's have a look now quickly as you can see the battery uh, this charges around two hours about 20 hours running time so we have the max speed current speed average speed uh, and some of the options here so we have off state short press, on state short press, on state long press, and also we have turn on switch, current average max speed, turn off, and some of the settings here, so we have the time, distance, total, time, uh, altitude as well, so this is some of the settings, which are not bad actually, and also let's have a look quickly so power on long press c4 settings button enter to the setting mode and we have c6 as you can see different options so we have the time zone which is c4 depends of your uh, region but yeah okay let's see what else we have here we have the this is for the bike mount. We have the charging cable, which is micro USB. It's not a type C for some reason. And we have the rubber bands here. So we have two sizes. We have two small and two uh, big ones. And this is the actual unit. I'm gonna leave this on the side. As you can see, Psych Plus. Let's remove the sticker. And let's have a look at the actual unit. So here is where you can mount. This is for your bike, as you can see, pretty cool. And the charging cable. So we have the power button here on the top and this is your mode button and here we can charge our device as you can see it's micro usb so let's let's turn this computer long press 
And as you can see, here on the right corner, we have the battery and also we have the satellite icon. So give it about a minute, maybe a two, and this will show you the satellites. So the GPS computer comes with three satellites, Beidou, GLONASS and Galileo. On this side, we have the current time, altitude. So if you press the power button once, we have now, current, current time now, we have average and we have max. So the max, ideally, it's good to use it when you use your RC car, which I will demonstrate in today's video. And if you press the long, long press of the um, uh, mode button, we go into C4, which is, I think, the time zone, C6. Here you can choose to a change your speed to kilometers or miles. I'll leave it to uh, kilometers. Recovery. This is to reset the time. As you can see pretty much, yeah, this is all the settings. Um, but other than that, I think this, this machine is, is all right. The reason I bought it is to, ch to check my uh, speed of my RC car, which is good in my opinion. So I will test that now and let's see if this is accurate. Okay, so let's see how fast is this RC car. Okay. Let's switch the GPS meter and always, always make sure you change it to maximum. So average, max. So the speed is full, stock batteries. I think it needs a little bit trim. I think the trimming is not very good. Let's see if you measure something. <laughs> 23 kilometers. Hmm. I think the maximum speed that they said is 45. Okay, so let's try now again. Always make sure this is on max. Average max. Okay, so let's see how much speed we can get now. This is full max. The speed, the throttle, steering is okay. Here we go. Pretty cool, right? And we have 27 kilometers. 27 kilometers, which is not bad, but I think we can do more than that. Always make sure you reset the computer before you run it. Switch it off, switch it on again, and again change it to max speed. Let me try on this side now. Okay, so let's see if this will go 45. I think the pin is off. Again, make sure this is on max. Speed. Ooh.
21 kilometers, not bad. You, you wanna try? No, 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 <laughs> okay, my computer just 26 kilometers, not bad, not bad, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah, let's go back to the studio and let's wrap this video. So, what is my thoughts? Uh, pretty good, actually. And as you can see, this is <laughs> sorry, it's been damaged here on this side, which this is cool. This is a an expensive GPS device, which even if you break, uh, is not the end of the world. Uh, so I think this is a pretty cool. I think it's fairly accurate in my opinion. Um, I couldn't get more speeds because uh, the park, as you can um, so on the video, um, I need like a more longer place to run the car properly. But I think it's very, very accurate. And for the price, this is great piece of machine, in my opinion. Great piece of kit to have in your bag. If you're cycling, also if you want to attach it to your RC car, I think it's a no-brainer. So definitely I recommend this interesting device from Psych Plus G1. We have three interesting <laughs> satellites and I think it's good. I think it's a good buy. So let me know in the comments down below what do you think. And definitely I'm going to run this one more time, uh, but um, I'm going to run it in a proper, like, long street to give you the accurate, uh, the accuracy of, about the speed. Uh, but uh, yeah, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and if you have any comments, please leave it in, um, in the comments below. And uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.